Welcome to Tesla Super Destinations, where we review Tesla's charging infrastructure and get to know the cool people there. Today we're rising to the supercharger in Vista, California. Let's get charged up. Hello, this is Blue Leader and we're here in Vista, California where they have 20 superchargers. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You know what, every time I see a like button, I get this much more happier. If you want to know what the heck we're doing, make sure you hit the subscribe so you know where we're going and all of that cool stuff. And if you happen to know anyone that wants to hang out with us, make sure you share the content with them. So here are my initial impressions of the Vista supercharger. Initial thoughts. I am in another outdoor strip mall stop. But, um, you know, it seems you're right behind a busy thoroughfare, so you're going to get a lot of road, road noise action. But this seems like a really nice, small outlet, not outlet, shopping center with some restaurants. Initial feelings. I don't have any significant or insignificant feelings whatsoever. Just kind of meh. Uh, but my initial concerns, I don't have any concerns. I don't have any safety concerns. Like I said, directly behind you is a thoroughfare, uh, a main street. So uh, you will be safe here, and it is a well-lit area. So thank you so much for that. Hang on for the review. Let's hear what our guest Sean has to say about the area. I like this charger simply because it's very fast. Uh, one of the fastest I've ever charged in, and I've hit a lot of chargers. So I've been hit this charger because it's the best place to go. Now, if there were no superchargers in this parking lot, would you still come to this shopping area? Probably not. Uh, I really don't have a reason to be here exactly. Uh, it does fit my schedule for uh, charging, but if, if I didn't have a supercharger, if I didn't have a Tesla to supercharge, I probably wouldn't be here. Tons of restaurants, coffee shops, tons of uh, uh, food for lunch. The main uh, area of Vista is just over the corner here. Uh, tons of other restaurants and shops just to waste time if you need to. Um, lots of things to do around here if, if you just need to kill some time, do some work, anything like that. Now you mentioned restaurants. Is there a favorite that comes to mind in this immediate area? Uh, yes, Belching Beaver Brewery in uh, the downtown area right behind us here is amazing. Great food, great beers, uh, great sandwiches and, and a cool little spot. Walking distance from the supercharger? Walking distance. One full star for chargers, 20 of them at 250 kV, 24-7. Bathrooms gets a full star, 227 feet away inside an era bread. Safety gets a full star, it's well lit outdoor parking. Food and beverage gets a full star, you've got juice, coffee, familiar eateries and sweets. Cool Factor gets half a star. This is an outdoor strip mall supercharger with a movie theater. The Vista Supercharger in Vista, California gets a four and a half TSD rating. Non-rated noteworthy mentions 0.6 miles from the 78 freeway Vista Village Drive exit. Let's give our guest Sean the final word. If you found a $100 bill, Sean, what would you do? Oh man, uh, I'd probably go to my favorite sushi restaurant and uh, get some sushi. Uh, you want to give a shout out to that restaurant? Uh, Harney Sushi in Oceanside. Very nice. If you inherited one million dollars, what would you do? I'd buy a Tesla Roast Roadster and a uh, Tesla Model S Plaid. Can money change people's lives? I'd say money can change people's lives, but it's really the person who makes that change. Money's, uh, money's there to make it easier, but not necessarily the actual thing that makes the person change. I'm wondering, what can lead a person to happiness? 
I think uh, happiness is just uh, be content with your life and enjoy everything you have uh, in the moment as opposed to trying to go after things uh, and have uh, you know things that maybe are unobtainable. Goals aren't necessarily a bad thing, but um, I like to find myself uh, you know being able to contemplate and relax and, and be in the moment. I think that's my favorite part about life. All right, Sean, do you have any final words of wisdom for the people out there? Get a Tesla, enjoy it, love it, meet people like this. It's fun to, to get out and meet other owners. And, and uh, I think uh, genuinely most Tesla owners are pretty cool people uh, uh, who enjoy their cars. I'm pretty sure you're right about that. Cheers. All right, cheers, Sean. We'll see you later. Thanks. Take it easy. Congrats. You made it to the end. Comment your electric thoughts and share with your circle of trust. Thanks for letting us supercharge your Tesla destination. See you at our next super destination. What is the craziest thing you've ever done in your Tesla? Get up pretty fast, so you know, just seeing what it would do on a closed course is, is probably the craziest thing I've done. This Model Y behind us is a performance it's, model? It's a performance. What track did you take it on? The Joliet track down south of Chicago.